Hey guys, Rob here. And uh, I was at Rule King today. I had to go get some dog food. And uh, I was uh, walking through the sporting goods stuff and I come across this uh, these adventure meals. And I'd never seen these there before. Uh, of course, I never really looked for them that close. But uh, I was uh, walking through the uh, camping stuff and uh, I seen these uh, Ready Wise adventure meals. And uh, these are uh, two and a half servings in each one. So I thought I'd get a couple of them and, and uh, give them a try and kind of see, uh, see what they're like. And, uh, of course, it says uh, this is 2.5 serving, 30 grams of protein. And that's in the, the lasagna. And this is with Mountain Summit Sausage, the classic uh, meat lasagna with pasta and cheese in a cheesy tomato pasta sauce and it's 5.39 ounces weight so if you were backpacking that's not too too heavy and it's eat in pouch so you just add water i notice they have really nice gussets on the bottom so you could uh, uh you could set these up and uh one thing i noticed about them they uh they try to entertain you a little bit uh and it says, uh, let us entertain you. This is uh, more than just a del delicious meal. It's an entertaining experience. Here are some riddles and jokes and cap camping hacks for your enjoyment. And of course, then it's got some, uh, some riddles on there and some jokes. And over here, it's got a cut some camping hacks. So, and then your your directions are pretty straightforward. Tear, uh, add two cups of water, stir, and let it sit for, um, I thought it said 15 minutes I've seen somewhere. Oh, 12 to 15 minutes. So, and, uh, these are good till 2035. So it does have an expiration date right there so 2035 so 15 year looks like uh, shelf life on this and there's your your uh, nutritional information carbs and the such if that kind of stuff interests you but uh, so I got the uh, lasagna and these were only five dollars and I think they were 5.99 and the chili mac and this one is beans, elbow, macaroni, seasoned ground beef in a rich beef sauce. And this one weighs 5.8 ounces. And it is 33 grams of protein. And it has the same. So it looks like the same, same stuff. Anyway, there's your nutritional information. So anyway, I got a couple cups of water over there on the stove boiling, and I think we will try the uh, the chili mac. So um, my water's about to boil. I'm gonna pause you here a minute, and then I'll bring you back. So guys, it does have a Ziploc, and there is a a desiccant pouch in there. So you want to make sure you take that out. In my pot over here, I have two cups of boiling water going. And we're going to turn that off. And I'm going to add my two cups of boiling water to that. And it does have a Ziploc, so you could... Uh, here so you can seal this back up if, if you didn't need it all you can seal it back up so I stirred it up and let's see if I can get you a shot of what it looks like in there. I don't know if you can see that or not but there's what it looks like in the bag, steaming hot. So, 
I'm going to seal it up here. Hey, Google, start a timer for 15 minutes. All right, guys, I set us a timer. Uh, in 15 minutes, I'll come back and we'll uh, put this thing out on a plate and see what it looks like. All right, guys, we're about halfway there. Thought I'd bring you back. Uh, of course, I did have to get some crackers. And you, you know, chili is not the same without crackers. So, And I did stir it again after about uh, six minutes. So uh, I gave it another quick stir. And uh, we're just waiting for Google to tell us uh, time's up. And uh, then we'll give her a try and see how this stuff tastes. Um, uh, we have bought the... Uh, I think it's Mountain House at Walmart sales before. Uh, me and my daughter, uh, we like trying this kind of stuff. And and uh, but the Mountain House is so expensive. It's like almost, I think it's close to ten dollars for uh, basically the same thing here. About two servings of uh, lasagna, which is what uh, my little girl likes. And I think I'm gonna save the lasagna till she's here, and maybe. Uh, me and her can do a joint video, and she can give you her thoughts, and we'll we'll uh, look at that one next. But uh, like I said, I had never seen these before. I don't know if it's something new, um, but uh, they uh, they're made in uh, they're made in Salt Lake City, Utah. So I know that's where Wise Food is uh, is at. So uh, just my opinion that this is probably made by wise uh distributed by ready wise llc so um uh, i'm guessing that it's probably a uh, a version of wise foods uh i tried to find some youtube videos on this and uh, didn't really find any so if this is kind of something that might interest you these are i think they were 5.99 which is for for camping food and the such, that's 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 fairly reasonable. I mean, if this feeds two and a half, two people, uh, you know, for six bucks, that's a pretty good deal. But anyway, uh, when the timer goes down, we'll get this bowled up and uh, we'll give it a taste test. All right, guys, we're just a few minutes out. I thought I'd open it up here and we'll we'll give it another quick stir. Kind of let you guys. I don't know if you can see that. She's piping hot. The lighting's not real good right there. But let you get a look at that. We'll give it a quick stir. Feels like it's thickening up pretty good. All right. We'll seal that back up. It's got a nice heavy uh, zip on it. So, you know, I don't know if any of you guys hike or camp or any of that such but that might make a good meal option we'll be back in a few hey google stop okay guys been uh 15 minutes so let's open her up here and see what we got let's check this out let's put our bowl right there and it actually looks pretty pretty meaty let's see i do i only want to pour it out or let's see maybe i can pour it well, it's pretty thick. Big, looks like quite a bit of meat. It's not real soupy. Let's pour that out there. Try that right there. That's big chunks of meat in that. So, anyway guys, there's what it looks like. Actually looks pretty good. Sorry for the poor lighting. Looks pretty good. Steaming hot. Let's uh let me give her a try here. Let me get a spoonful of this. Sorry, I couldn't figure out any better way to do this. And uh and don't pay no attention to my old table. Uh, my wife wants to replace it and I won't let her because the stains here like here and over here, all these stains are where my little girl colored Easter eggs and and there's on the chair you can see there's there's hair dye where my little girl dyed her mom's hair the first time and 
there's just a lot of memories in this table and I, I refuse to let it go. So anyway, let's see if I can get to buy this. And... It tastes good, but it's cr I didn't. I think it needs to go longer than 15 minutes. It's got some crunchies in it. Either I didn't stir it up good, or it needs a little longer than 15 minutes. Now, as far as the taste of it, it's actually pretty good. You can see there, it's big chunks of uh, macaroni, and uh, it's got beans, and it's actually, actually really good. Tastes like almost like a homemade chili. And I can taste like real little bits of uh, onion in it, like real onion. But some of the noodles are a little uh, a little hard. What is it they call it? A Dante, or you know, they got a little little tooth to them. I actually they're. They're a little bit crunchy, so if, if you get one of these, I would suggest giving it a little more time. Mm. Guys, that's actually really good. I got the rest of this sealed up here. Maybe it will soften up a little more. Like I said, it, it, this is really good. I think that may be the, honestly, I think it may be the beans that are still a little, a little too to them. I know the beans would have to be uh, freeze dried, dehydrated or. Anyway, guys, just thought I'd do a video on this. This is really good stuff. It's not too salty. A lot of these things are really salty. But it's not real salty. I mean, uh, sodium, it has 732 uh, milligrams. So it's it's got a lot of salt in it, but it doesn't taste, uh, doesn't taste salty. There's 290 calories per serving. So... Anyway, guys, not bad. Uh, if you're real king and you see these and uh, you're into stuff like this, uh, pick one up, try it out. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, until the next video, guys, I appreciate everybody watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Remember to give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, like my video, leave a comment, all that stuff that you do on YouTube, and I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.